Hi, my name is Anissa Velez and I was lucky enough to be selected to enter the Fitness with Flex 12 week challenge. And I entered this challenge because I felt like I was losing hope on um, getting healthy and losing weight and weighing over 220 pounds at only 5'4". Um, it seemed so impossible to start and then continue on what seemed like such a long journey and a journey that I knew would be long because I was severely overweight. I was tired all the time and I was super busy at work being a manager in my department so I just felt like I had no control of my body and my eating habits. I previously lost um, a significant amount of weight before but to be honest it was really a fad which is why I lost the weight. Um, I quickly gained all the weight back and more within a year and a half and I was unsuccessful when trying to attempt this fad diet again. Um, and this diet was basically the use of prescribed pills. So doctors had given me these pills um, to help me lose weight. And unfortunately, the second time around, it just didn't work for me. And it was just so much harder for me to control my eating and to stay on track with exercising. And I've tried so many different things from like the bead diet to juicing to skipping meals, to working out like crazy, doing cardio, and just nothing ever stuck with me or nothing, I never stuck with anything. And uh, when hearing about the Fitness with Flex Challenge, to be honest, I was a little intimidated because I had never muscle trained before and I was not fond of the idea. Um, I believe the common mis misconception that I would bulk up, look like a man, and um, just get really muscular and, and not, have a nice shape and before max I really only believed in cardio like cardio you're losing calories you're going to lose weight one of the other things that made me intimidated was that I would be performing these workouts on my own without anyone physically there so I was just a little bit skeptical with my lack of experience how effective it would be being a first timer doing weight training and doing it on my own the easiest part of the challenge I would say was definitely the food uh, one of the greatest things about this diet that I find is that I was never hungry. Yes, you do get cravings, but you're not hungry, which is a big difference, uh, which makes a big difference when you're dieting because I feel like when you're not hungry, um, it lessens your chances of failure. Whereas when you are hungry, like one of my biggest failures with my previous attempts at losing weight was I would just binge because you're starving your body and you're not only are you starving it from what you want you're starving it from the good things that you need as well so I would constantly be hungry and with this diet you're never hungry the hardest part for me I would say is the physical activity because like I said before I was never I never had any experience with weight training and I thought I was a fairly active person like I used to do cardio all the time I used to do kickboxing all the time but this challenge really showed me um, how much my fitness level needs to grow even now even three months later I still have such a long way to go in my fitness journey now that the challenge is over I definitely feel more confident about myself like it's crazy how small changes in your mentality change the way you think and the way you feel and Max really really stresses the important things about getting fit so it's not like oh let me see the scale number change really quick this week or let me starve myself or let me not drink water so that I don't have any water weight he really focuses on the small changes that you make and that you see in, in the physical changes that you see in your body like I said I had always focused on so much on cardio and on the scale and I really didn't realize how beneficial weight training is and no sugar makes a huge difference like sugar is so bad when you don't know how to consume it properly like it changes the way you feel it changes the way the way you look and because of max like I would have never known these little secrets these little gimmicks that I was always following and just these little changes that you make in your life make such the big difference uh, for sure, I would recommend this program and Max. I need to continue this program in order to reach my ultimate fitness goals and my fitness journey. And not only does Max get you fit and healthy, but he also makes you develop 
the body, the goals that you want to reach. So um, whether it's appearance, whether it's strength, whether it's stamina, like he does it in a way where it caters to your fitness goals, no matter what. And also on top of that, like he always sends inspirational quotes and like he always checks in on you every day to make sure that you're following the program. Max has been the most realistic, the most beneficial trainer that I've ever had and it's been the most beneficial fitness program that I've ever been on and I just want to say thank you so much Max for this life-changing opportunity because like I said I'm still on my fitness journey but you are the one that paved the way for me to get to where I want to go and ultimately it is life-changing and it's health-changing and um, I just continue to look forward to progressing. There's a lot of misconceptions out there when it comes to getting a six pack and one that I hear all the time is that you have to train your abs every single day and this cannot be farther from the truth. Your abs are like any other muscle group and they need time to recover so you can't train them every single day and even if you did that does not mean that you will see your abs. Seeing your abs has to do with how much body fat you have on your body. If your body fat is low enough then you'll definitely see your abs.